KCTK Radio proudly presents the Week Review. Hey, you know what, guys? This right here, this rambling, boring conversation containing already made before observations, this could be a podcast. Huh, it's actually not a bad idea. Really? A podcast? Don't you have to be some sort of whiz kid to do those? Uh, definitely not. Anyone with a computer can make one. Well, that's it. We're anyone. Let's do a podcast from right here in the booth. Who's in? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Is it happening? Are we doing it now? Awesome. You're the reason that we do what we do. Music and talk, it's all for you. Now the guys who are lots of fun for making you laugh, they're number one. They review the week just for you. So get ready for Paul and Drew. Welcome to KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew and Jack all up in your face. Join in on the experiment by calling or texting us at 913-735-0060. We dare you. Welcome to KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew starring Jack who's all up in your face. I'm Paul. That's Drew. Jack's nowhere. This is the show where we talk about things from last week and the things that may happen next week. And yes... Once and for all, it's it's very weak. It's known as the show where non-interesting people never try to act interesting. Or the other show where everything is made up and the points don't matter. You can join the experiment by calling or texting us at 913-735-0060. We welcome your participation. We broadcast live every Thursday night at 7 p.m. You can listen at 100.3 FM on your radio dial or stream using the Listen to My Radio app. Plus, you can watch us live on Facebook Live on our page, but the easiest way to listen to us is just go to www.kctkradio.com and click listen live. It's that simple. Also, you can watch all the past adventures on YouTube at the KCTK Radio channel whenever you want, but that's not all. The program is offered as a podcast on iTunes, which is now Apple Podcast, sorry, Google Play, Spotify, SoundCloud, Podbeam, iHeartRadio, CastBox, Himalaya, Pandora, Overcast, Stitcher, Instagram. You can even ask Alexa to play The Week Review. That's right. Or anywhere you get your favorite podcast. Welcome to the program. It is our Thursday night extravaganza. Yay. And uh, we're going to have our regular features. We're going to have, uh, I think, the best Why Dude Ever. And a very special listen, listen, listen. And we're going to do what we're known for. Finally, we're going to get back to it. It's been a while. We're going to do some commercial reviews because we haven't done them in a week. Right? Okay. So with that said, let me uh, do what I like to do. Do the things that I do, and I do it in the Funky Chicken too. Here he is, the man of the hour, the guy that makes it all happen. Here is the Droosh. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's the Droosh, a.k.a. Lincoln uh, Lincoln Blinken, a.k.a. and Nod. <laughs> <laughs> is Lincoln Blinken, is that a cartoon character? I think it's a nursery rhyme. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm Lincoln Blinken and Nod of I'm the Lincoln, law firm Lincoln uh, Blinken and Nod. Call us if you ever have any tax issues or if you've jaywalked or DUI. <laughs> there you go. There he's, you go. he's just an improv yeah. master, folks. There you go. Or murder. <laughs> or murder. A murder. I gotta fix this, guys. His name was murder. Did you see the video of his name was murder? I did see the video. How come we never had the author on there? I don't know. Every time I've asked him, he's too busy or... I've been wanting to interview the guy for years now. And I've even brought it up to him multiple times. But he wants a contract. He wants sparkling water mm -hmm. um someone to sit on his lap i don't feel like we need to do, provide all those things for him i think that we should uh i can have jack sit on his lap if he wants i, I mean, think we I should can... get um what's his name mac to talk to the author of he's gonna have to and we'll have to you know get some uh I, apparently we also have to give him a signing bonus there we go. That's better. you know <laughs> he's a very successful author so he's busy all the time Hey, what's been going on with you, Drew? Man, just living it up, dude. Um, I basically tracked down everybody to sign my title for this fusion today. and Congratulations. Yep. And so hopefully get it done. Okay, so get her done. Get her done. Uh, how's the weather been for you? The weather's been terrible. Um, yeah. So here's something fun. Okay. Gather around the water cooler, guys. So... Um, 
at work, mm -hmm. we were opening the doors to the bays that okay. lead into the shop. Wow, okay. that sounds exciting. I don't right. know all these technical terms. So we closed down the garage doors. Okay. So uh, they're all closed. And we bring in the AC from the shop because okay. the shop is AC. But my section that I have to work at is not. Okay. So I uh, got in a disagreement with some mechanics because they were bitching about how hot they were. Uh -huh. And they blamed us for it, my team. Because the thing was open. Yeah, they said we were we were siphoning their AC, <laughs> which is impossible because if those walls weren't there, it'd be the same thing. They claim that we open our doors more than they do. Mm. So to get cars into the shop, there are these two giant garage doors that open automatically whenever a car pulls up. Right. They open about eighty, maybe ninety times a day, in and out. Oh my. Okay. And because uh, we, one guy I know counted, he was that bored. And um, yeah, people aren't used to boring podcasts, right? Yeah. So anyway, uh, I decided to pick a fight with one of these mechanics. Mm. Um, they backed down. This, uh, this fight argument. Fight, oh, I or... argued. I was starting something. That was because oh, okay. I was pissed because now we have to sit in ninety degree weather mm -hmm. while they get to enjoy AC. Yeah. And it's all because this reached up to the owner. And he thought that the AC was the bill was high because of us, and everybody blamed us for it, which is funny because you know the AC is high because it's hot outside. Yeah, and they may possibly need a new AC unit. I don't know, but I pretty much he should Richard Weir. He should get him. Yeah. Well, so I told him I was like I let him know this mechanic, who will remain nameless. I let him know that. Uh, don't worry, you prissy bitches will have your AC, and if you got any more fucking problems, feel free to come and bitch to me in my face. Nice. And, you know, he just kind of backed off after that because I got in his face, and then we we smashed it, but... Smashed it? Yeah, we we you know, squashed it. We, we oh, made I peace. thought that was a sexual thing. No, not a sexual thing. We, we uh, made peace. I don't but, judge you, I mean... But, um, yeah, he admitted he was one of the people that was bitching. At least he admitted it to my face. And I was like, well, that makes you a bitch. So. Sounds like a real uh, whiny guy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he wasn't the only one. There was multiple ones. They're just catered little children that I have to work with. <laughs> you know. Uh, and they're grown men. It's weird. We got, uh, uh, you know, whininess everywhere. Oh, yeah. We're whininess everywhere. And I think. One of the themes that I have for the show is things suck, everybody. Yeah. And I don't know if everyone is aware of that or not. And how come we're not live on Facebook? I want to know why. I think maybe it's because you didn't press live. It could be. I, there could be something. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Yep. There it is. You we're may gonna, not get a live feed today. No, we're gonna, you, got, you folks are going to get a live feed. A live thing, and you're gonna like it. So, what's okay? been going on with you, Paul? Why don't you well, tell me a little I bit? Well, I guess what I was trying to say is that things are pretty messed up lately. Yeah. And I am tired of people pretending like it isn't. Right. Or I'm tired of that it's bad for other people, but it's okay for me, so everything's fine. It's your problem. I'm kind of getting sick <clears throat> of that mentality. Well, we also doesn't help that. Um, there's claims right now that the rich are not in a recession anymore compared to the lower class yeah. like us who mm -hmm. are still struggling and everybody's struggling. And it's pretty great that the fat cats up there aren't struggling like we are. Yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty, um, it's pretty frustrating that, um, we don't have a more of a we're in this together type mentality. We are not. Nobody and, has that mentality. It seems. And, uh, we don't understand that okay it's telling me it's streaming live but it isn't but um i i just it's frustrating to me and uh i have some a couple commercial examples okay fantastic. of it even where basically these two commercials are saying isn't it great everything's great <laughs> isn't it great that we have a pandemic it's really been good for us yeah and it hasn't it hasn't. No. Um, not everyone can share that same, uh, you know, sense of, I don't know what word to use, but not everyone feels that way. Right. I mean. Now, if you guys think I'm wrong, 
feel free to give me a call at 913-735-0060. And it uh, looks like Facebook is not going to cooperate with us tonight. does not look that way. It sure doesn't. That's okay. Um, many of you are listening on the podcast anyway. You always call in later. Um, that's fine. But uh, let's just get right to it. Let's get to the fun stuff first, what I like to call the reason people really listen. Because they don't care about me bitching about life. They want to hear about the news of the Droosh. They want to hear the Droosh bitch about life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know what? I'll save that one for later. That one's dark. <laughs> we, just, we just went dark. So, anywho, um, missing sailors were rescued from Pacific Island after SOS signal spotted in the sand. Hmm. Three men were rescued from a small, uninhabited Pacific island after writing a giant SOS sign in the sand, which is funny because in most cartoons and stuff like that, nobody ever sees it. Right. Um, the Australian Department of Defense had stated on Monday the men had been missing in the Micronesia Archipelago. Uh, Archip- you know what? I'm not even going to bother. I, I yeah. think I said that wrong anyway. Near the Philippines for three days before their in- internationally recognized distress, uh, distress signal which originated from Morse code, was spotted Sunday on the uninhabited Picolot uh, Island Picolot. by the searchers on Australian and U.S. aircraft. Now, my question to you is... Yeah, give it... Just go ahead. Just go I want to make this a segue into a little discussion to get to know a little bit more about Paul and Drew. Ooh. Okay? If you were stuck on a deserted Can island... We, you, we can't do things without, you know... Some type of really good um, song, right? Right. Okay. Interesting. This Interesting is, choice. This is get to know Paul, Paul and Drew, Drew segment. What would you do on a deserted island? Could you survive on a deserted island with three friends? Let's say they're related to you, your brothers. Okay. Could you survive on this island? And for how long? And what would be your contribution to the group or tribe hmm. that would form from being stuck on an well, island. If I was with my brothers, they they would help me. Right. They, okay, they, they, okay. they would take care of me. So, why don't you go with my friends? Your friends. Okay. Like if I was with Chris you Whiting, Chris Whiting and Velvy. And Velvy. Okay, I would die immediately. <laughs> why? Those guys don't have any type of hunting skills or any type of I think Chris would surprise you. I think he can make a slingshot from a rock and some leather. He was a, a uh, yeah, he was a uh, Eagle Scout. Yeah, I think he could pull off killing some birds for you guys. Which one of you could start a fire? I think I could start a fire. You think you could start uh-huh. a fire? With, like castaway style where you have the wood and you use the friction? Yeah, it's the only way to do it. How else would you do it? Okay, you've had practice with that. Uh, I've done it before, I think, when I was a kid. I mean, I easily could do it. You know, masturbation has taught me very much on how <laughs> friction works, so I can easily probably pull that off. Okay. Um, would which one do you think would go insane? Because uh, there's always one guy in the group that goes nuts. I think it'd be me and tries to eat somebody. No, I don't think I'd eat anybody. You don't think you well, could? Okay, let me ask you. Yes, how long we would survive? Yeah, how long do you think you survive? Well, the question is, um, what what kind of island do we have? Do we have fish around that we can get? Do it's we possible. Have... Okay, there's vegetation. Okay. Okay. Coconuts. Okay. Which Possibly fish. I could never open a coconut. Right. Okay. If, you, if there's fish around, I, I think I could probably get a fish. Okay. And then if there's, you know. Crab. There possibly could be crab. Crab would be good. If all you gotta do is get a fire for that thing. All you gotta do is just roast it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'd do well. You don't think so? <laughs> no. Well, no, that's... I really don't. Are you surprised if I would say that? No. But I wanted to just see what you would think of your two friends. Because I know Chris personally. Yeah. And I feel like maybe he would surprise you. I don't know Velvy well enough to give my opinion on what he might do. Well, I'm mean, honestly, I think that both those guys would do better than me. Okay. Do you think you'd be the guy that draws the SOS on the sand? Yes, I would okay, do that. Okay, so you could do, you yeah. could contribute that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I don't know. You don't know? Now, what did he do in Castaway? What did he eat? Uh, at one point, he ate a bunch of coconuts. Okay. Um, and then he finally made a spear and was Got able fish. to make a fire. 
he couldn't get fish at first. He got a crab because they're slow moving. Okay. And um, luckily, once it gets the fire going, he could cook the crab. But after that, he eventually practices with um, the spear, and he gets better at it. Mm -hmm. And then at one point, he uses, I think, lingerie for a net and uses it to get little small fish that he ate raw. Would would I have access to all that stuff? If you had been in a FedEx uh, plane, possibly. But I don't see you being on a FedEx plane. How else would I get there? I don't know. These guys, I think, were driving – were in commercial – or, or possibly a private plane. I didn't read the rest of it because I wanted to have a discussion instead of adding yeah. more information about these people. They got saved. It's not a big deal. So um, I just I want to ask you a kind of a related absolutely. question. Absolutely. I, on the internet, ordered some what looked like uh, really cool computer microphones. Okay. So I give one to each nephew. All right. So if there need to be a Zoom. Okay. They were they were inexpensive, but they look cool. Awesome! Is this what FedEx made you think of? Do you think they are? It's been, it's been about mm, fifteen years since I ordered it. It's been a long time. <laughs> Do you think they crashed in the F, F, FedEx uh, plane somewhere? Probably. Okay. And possibly somebody is having a podcast because they've lost their minds. Okay. And they've made a coconut human being, mm-hmm. and they're talking to it. We could do a podcast with just a, like a like a soccer ball or something. Absolutely. I feel like Wilson would be a very good guest on our show. Yeah. He might not talk a lot. There's no one There may be some internal Facebook dialogue, anyway, so. but I think it could work. Okay, well, let me ask you this, because this, this is the defining factor that I learned from Boy Scouts. What are the three things you need to survive? Um, okay. Water. Okay. Food. Shelter. Yep. Then you're good. Okay. You might be able to pull it off. I don't. I don't. I don't know how to get any food. You find a way. Could you? Because I, I wouldn't even. I don't know enough about plants or anything to know what you could eat and what you couldn't. True, but you learn on the go. You either either you're poisoned, you die on this island, yeah, and from poisoning, or you die of starvation. One's slower, one's quick. Yeah. I I'd have to resort to eating bugs. I think. Yep. You probably you find worms and bugs and stuff like that. Get yourself a banana leaf. Right? Uh-huh. Make sure you kill the bug first. If the fire's going, roast them up, dude. Yeah. That's what you're going to have to do. So you're not against eating, like, larva and shit. No, no. Okay, that's no. a plus. No, then you'd be able to survive. I think you'd be able to pull it off. Just be hope you're not stuck on an island that is used for drug trafficking. Well, no, I'd want that because then they would come save me, right? They wouldn't save you. They'd shoot you on spot. I would you know them. where they're keeping their stash. I would just... You know, maybe I'd be a mule for him. Right. That sounds like a viable option, I guess. Stuffing uh, cocaine up your ass. Yeah, and then just so I get home. You know what? Whatever works. Okay. Are you going to be happier if you go to jail instead of being on a deserted island? I think I would. Okay. Well, you know, a- you know how it throws me off when one of my little technical things aren't working. But, yeah. But we're recording, and uh, those of you who are listening to this desperately want to see this, you can go to... Go over to YouTube and watch it. Right. Oh, you know what? Maybe we can do that. Maybe we can go live on YouTube. Oh, let's see if we can. We haven't. We Done usually don't go live on YouTube. Yeah, we usually don't. But, All right. Uh, well, but, if you could pick one thing to have on with you in a dessert island, last question, what would it be? Um, a book? No, I'd want uh, like a phone so I can call someone to come save me. You want a satellite phone? Is that what you mean? Yeah. If you want a satellite phone, go for it. Okay. All right. It's just like off the office. Desert Island, the game. <laughs> I would want uh, Legally Blonde. Da Vinci Code? Oh, Da Vinci Code. I would have the Da Vinci Code so I could burn the Da Vinci Code. <laughs> Who said that? Well, Angela. Oh, yeah. Phyllis says she'd want, if hey, you could pick books. Hey, everyone, we're live on, um, we're absolutely live on YouTube. Fantastic. We're just, we're, we're the new Joe Rogan. So, um, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Because I have kind of a related story for you. Okay, let's hear it. I thought you might find that a fun little discussion. <laughs> yeah, well, not really. It you doesn't because you here, here's, know your own here's what most people would do. Yeah, and then I'll do this. I get a tan, and I I knock down a coconut. You know how hard it is to get into a coconut? It's very hard. It's I, very difficult. When we went on a cruise once, mm-hmm. 
Uncle Steve took forever to try and break open a yeah. coconut, and they had husks around it. Yeah, I'd swim and I'd drink. No, you wouldn't. You would die. Most <laughs> people would die. I'm telling you right now, I wouldn't do well. Yeah, okay. All right, at least you're honest. I don't know what I would do. I'll be honest with you. And if I had to... Would all of a sudden, every knowledge I have from Boy Scouts all of a sudden just kick in? <laughs> and if I had to be there with some type of real go-getter, that would uh, that would really bug me. Why? Because then I'm going to do all the Because I'm not going to work. That's for sure. <laughs> I'm going to sit there and... Okay, so... <laughs> I don't know if you've ever heard of a thing called social media. Wait, isn't that where somebody uses a Zanga or um, a MySpace? Mm-hmm. It is. Oh. Hey, grab that controller and switch over. Okay. What do I, what do I switch it over to? Input? Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll try this. I'll just share it here. Okay. I think just people have lost their mind, and I want to share with you something. I can tell you right now, Paul... Everybody has lost their minds. It's just kind of a funny little thing that um, I found on the internet, which I think you'll enjoy. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. You're going to enjoy it. You sure are. <laughs> I'm going to share it to our, our uh, fans as well. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Oh, can you hear it? Nope. Why not? Crisis to put Americans okay. back where they belong in right. dark room. Let's start this over again, okay? This is a, oh, a clip. Nope. Why not? Crisis to put Americans back where they belong in right. dark room. Let's start this over again, okay? This is a, oh, a clip. Nope. Why not? Is this really happening Crisis right now? Crisis to put Americans back where they belong in right. dark room. Let's start this over again, okay? This is a, <laughs> a clip. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay, here's what we got. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was interesting. You were at Twitter. Yeah. See what's happening is we're in this big circle. Yeah, I noticed that. That's kind of crazy. So it was in endless. Mm -hmm. It sure was. So I'm going to go back here and I want to share. Not this. I want to share. Uh, damn it. Where is it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Let's see if it works. Yeah, let's see if it works. I'd like to call to order this secret conclave of America's media right. empires. Yeah. We are here yeah, to come up with the next phony baloney crisis to put Americans back where they belong in dark rooms glued to the okay. secret conclave of America's media empires. Yeah. What's going on? That's weird. Well, since we're on YouTube, it's going over and over. Oh, I know what I can do here. That's what I do. Okay, let's try this again, folks. Okay, you ready, folks? <laughs> this is going to work this time. This is a clip from The Simpsons. Yep. I'd like to call to order this secret conclave of America's media empires. We are here to come up with the next phony baloney crisis to put Americans back where they belong in dark rooms glued to their televisions too terrified to skip the commercials. <laughs> well, I think... NBC, you are here to listen and not speak. I think we should go with a good old-fashioned public health care. Uh, yeah. A new disease. No one's immune. It's like the summer of the shark, except instead of a shark, it's an epidemic. And instead of summer, it's all the time. That oh. is okay. Now, I hate to be the guy who derails what everybody else loves. He loves being that guy. But, Janice, we do have standards. This can't be a made-up disease. The only moral thing to do is release a deadly virus into the general public. We do have something we've been holding on to, but it hasn't been tested. Get over here, NBC. Uh, well, we certainly believe in <laughs> testing, but I... Oh, oh. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. So, we've got our deadly disease. No, we just have to blame it on something that's in every household, something that people are a little bit afraid of already. 
House cat flu is coming, people. <laughs> the Center for Disease Disinformation predicts with some degree of probability that the house cat flu might spread in the following hypothetical outbreak pattern. <laughs> so better beware that warm body on your lap just might be ready to destroy your tender fiddles. <laughs> Aww. Poor Kay. Springfielders are advised to stay tuned for more information if they experience any of the following symptoms. Mild thirst, occasional hunger, tiredness at night. Mild thirst. Okay, so, Drew, what do you think of this? Um, I think it's crazy that the Simpsons have a crystal ball and they should let me borrow it. Yes, they certainly do. But here's the thing that why I, I want to show that number one because it's funny. Yes. Number two, I want to remind everyone it's a comedy. It, that is a comedy show. Absolutely. Because if you follow the Twitter comments, and we don't have time to do it, many of them are like, wow, that's funny. That, what a coincidence. There are people on the Twitter who say, see, if that doesn't prove that this is all a hoax, then I don't know what does. Ugh. If that doesn't prove that there's a conspiracy, then I don't know what does. Yeah, The Simpsons is something you should really base your opinion uh -huh. off of. Uh -huh. I'm telling you. I looked at that and I thought, oh, that's fun. That's funny. It cracks me up. They, they, they have nailed the truth about how the media overhypes things, right? right. Yeah. I mean, the fatal, the, the fatality. Yeah, the fatality. Fatality. <laughs> and then, and then even you know, with our with our current uh, uh, problem that we have, you can't turn on CNN without them flashing how many people have died, how many people have it. I get it. They overhype it. That's what the satire is on that. But believing that that shows that they actually created a virus, yeah, it's insane. And the question for you is, I'm going to get the official question song out because I really want to have your answer Absolutely. on this. Um, Momentous it's, occasion. And it's not necessarily I trust, trust your opinion. It's just <laughs> who else can I ask? Listen, right? if, if if there's anything I might do is move to Thailand and just <laughs> read this out. So here's the question. Why do I look at Twitter? Well, Paul, that's a very good question, and I have the answer for you. Good. Come on in. This is Dr. Drew time. Okay. You and all have a lot going in your life at the moment, and you want to see what other people's lives are like. Okay. So, so, you, far, the, so far this track. You have to fill in this void mm -hmm. by looking at how people are miserable just as much as you are, if not worse. And it makes you have some sense of empowerment. Hmm. Check well, me out on Hulu, Dr. Drew style. Yeah, but I don't want people mm -hmm. to be miserable. I'm not that guy. Okay. It's the same thing as, uh, you know, the Y dude saying that I like to listen to true crime and get a... What he? What is the word? Excited? <laughs> you get sexually excited when people get murdered. <laughs> I don't get sexually excited. I'm not a sadist. Okay. Okay. So you think that? I, I don't think that. I'm making a joke, but I think maybe you're just bored. Uh huh. Okay. That's, I think it's bored. That track so far. I think I think it's anything. Well, boring. here's the thing about Twitter too. You go on there and there's so many stupid people, right? Yeah. It's like Reddit. And you sit there and you think, Wow, I'm smarter than these people, but then you think. What the hell's going on in this world? I must be the stupidest person because I'm the only one that doesn't see this stuff. Well, I'm the only one that I think that saw that clip that thinks it's a comedy clip. Right. Basically, you're on a deserted island. Okay. Okay. Right. And, and the world going crazy is, already. Yeah, and you've already lost your mind. Your house is the deserted island, and you're stuck in the middle of the ocean. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's America in the world. Wow. Yep. Okay, Look that, at that. That actually makes Full sense. Full fucking circle. You're getting a lot out of this. Well, sure, there's technical difficulties, and we heard some stuff. But just get over it, okay? Yeah. For as much as you're paying for this podcast <laughs> and the show, just, just relax. Okay? And believe me, your money is going to a great cause. I'm going to buy a Lamborghini one day. I mean, just a oh, big deal, okay? Yeah. And we also realize we understand that uh, you don't really care about anything that we say. You come here to get information, and you come to get educated, and you get it from the Y dude. I wonder why, I wonder why, now it's time to learn why. Today's question comes from Tracy. Tracy writes, 
Dear Y Dude, I'm a popular podcaster with the show called Tracy's Tips and Dips. My son Rowdy is getting married, and I have to perform a speech during the wedding celebration. How can I make a good speech? Well, Tracy, giving a public presentation is one of the most common fears people have. When it comes to family communication, your rant should be simple, honest, and unique. Here are a list of do's and don'ts. Okay. Do say something kind and inviting to the bride. Do explain how Rowdy has changed to a better human being because of her. <laughs> do make sure your voice and body language gives your blessing for their journey together. And do create a way to share how faith and the recognition of God is important. That's nice. Here are the don'ts. Oh, boy. Don't exaggerate how Rowdy got his name. <laughs> Don't use cuss words. Don't list off a list of what a good daughter-in-law would do and what a bad daughter-in-law would do. Don't talk about the one time you got arrested. And don't make Rowdy feel and look less than a man by sharing stories about when Rowdy cried or wet his pants. Now you know. <laughs> I wondered why. I wondered why. Now we know why. That's the Y dude exclusively on KCTK Radio. I'd like to say exclusively on the week review, but he he, he appears on uh, the Tracy's Tips and Dips as well. That's insane that he knows that. So Rowdy peed his pants, huh? Well, his, his Tracy, Rowdy's mother, talked about it um, on her podcast. So that's how um, the Y dude knows this stuff. Okay. But he's Rowdy's getting married next Thursday night. Well, I wish him all the best. Congratulations. Yeah. Good luck. Can you look over there? Oh, yeah. I can look over here. What's your... What's the... Do you get your invitation? Oh, uh, yeah. I got my invitation right here. I am to be the guest speaker okay. at this wedding. Oh, wow. Uh, they're paying me ten grand. Oh, so good. So it's not a big deal. Okay. Um, I'm going to just shower them with love. Just a, a golden shower of love. Oh, when, when can I get my golden shower? I don't know. I ask myself that every time. Every time I'm here, I give my 100% golden shower to everybody. Right. Where's our golden shower? Phyllis. Huh? Paul? <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it would be great if you would uh, officiate and speak at Rowdy's. I'm already officiating what? at a funeral. Okay? It's already been set in stone. Really? Who died? Yeah. Whenever you die, I'm gonna I'm gonna give the eulogy at your what your Why funeral. Going to my funeral. You said on tape that I was allowed to give the eulogy, and you wanted me to treat your funeral as a podcast. Yeah, I, if you get, you know what, there's I think there's only two people in the world who care about me at all. Okay, and you can not gonna get through either one of those ladies. I think they're they're they not might, gonna, they might be okay with it. <laughs> they're not gonna be okay with it. Damn. Okay, so I it's gonna be funny. They're so sweet. They're going to be up there going, and Dad was so great at this. And you guys are going to be going, who are they talking? Who is he talking about? I've been to a funeral where that was like that. <laughs> I have two. I have two. <laughs> I'm like, who the hell are they talking <laughs> about? <laughs> he he never cared about himself. I'm like, what? <laughs> That's entirely <laughs> untrue. That's is this opposite day? <laughs> have uh, we stepped into the twilight zone? Hey, we've had a lot of fun. We don't need. Uh, we really don't need. Uh, we don't Facebook. need no scrubs. We don't need no Facebook people. Yeah, we don't need no Facebook scrubs. Yeah. Yeah. We can uh, be on YouTube and uh, the podcast and the podcast. We go chase some waterfalls. <laughs> let's, let's do this. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not sure, but okay. <laughs> but uh, let's take a break. And we'll be back with more KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew. And Jack, who's not here. Bye. We'll be back right back. The world is a scary place, and the only thing you really need is a gun. <laughs> That's right. In America, all we need is a gun to keep us safe. 
And that's why it aces, 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 aces. conglomerate. We are going to manufacture AK-47s that have grenade launchers to attach to it. That's right. Why? Because why the fucking hell not? We're aces, aces. And we are the leading manufacturer of guns in America. And we are going to make sure to blow this COVID right out of the water and make sure that it never comes back. And you need a grenade launcher, AK-47 with a banana clip, and you need to make sure that this thing is an automatic rifle and it will destroy COVID. That's right. Aces guarantees. Guarantees you freedom. Only in Aces. <laughs> Looking at the past seven days so you don't have to. It's the Week Review with Paul and Drew. You could join in on the experiment by calling or texting us at 913-735-0060. Hey guys, it's your old friend Mac, Mac Harrison, station manager and vice president of syndication for all that is KCTK Radio on the station broadcast of the world to the wide. Hey, you know we've got a lot of sponsors and I want to take a thank you out for the time to tell you about thanking you. You're a sponsor, you pay me money, and I put your advertisements on the air. Thank you, but what we do is a special thing at KCTK Radio, especially with the dummy, especially with the professionals at Paul and the Drew. What we do there is I supply them with your names of your commercials, and what they do is they try to be funny about it. Whoa, creative, right? Yeah, my idea. Anyway, that's what you'll hear today in this show. I want to shout out to the sponsors. For thank you for giving me money, and uh, good luck to Paul, Drush, and whoever else tries to be creative and funny. Come on, make it funny, guys. It's all about the money. This is Dr. Gerald Harrington. Do you ever sound like this? You got need anything that you need to buy? You, if you do, you clearly have mental problems. You have problems that need counseling, that need help. Do you ever sound? like this oh look at me i'm so stupid i don't understand stuff ah. you clearly need help for the first time in your life you need help and i'm the one that can give it to you i am dr gerald harrington at the corner of locust and 18th street we've had our clinic here for 50 years and we can help let's say sometimes you're living your life, and then all of a sudden, this happens. I'm so smart, it hurts my brain sometimes, because I know so much. All the information is bulging out of my head. And it hurts, <laughs> and we don't want it to hurt that bad. We want you to have a good time, so you never, ever sound like this. I'm making chocolate milk for me. First, I got the milk out. Then I, no, first I got the chocolate, then the the milk, mm -hmm. and um, the straw. That's and true. The and the cup. This boy and is clearly the deranged. <laughs> Only I, I Dr. Gerald it. Harrington, Put at Locust in, in what there. street did I say? 18, 18 Street can help you and make you to sound like and this. Then. I have genital herpes. So come to our place and you will never sound like this again. You got need anything that you need to buy? Because if you don't, you'll sound like this. Hey guys, it's your old friend Mac calling into the call-in line. And that's something you don't want to sound like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's extended verse. Ruby. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what that guitar made me immediately start thinking of. Ruby. Your boy, Phil, uh, Phil, uh, what's his name? Henry? Yeah. <laughs> Ruby, are you contemplating going out somewhere? We can't do that. We, <laughs> we, we can only play um, our stuff. Here's and another question. 
We have, we have time for one more. Okay, that's good. Um, you know what? <clears throat> let's hear it. If we're going to play uh, any other podcast, let's play our favorite podcast right now for everyone to listen to. And they should listen to it. And they should listen to it. And they should listen to it. That's right. Here is Listen, Listen, Listen. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, stupid people, and other stupid people. Hey, and welcome back to another episode of Listen, Listen, Listen. I am your host, Carlos Elton, and wow, do I have a show for you, yeah, you, today. So much so that I even wrote it down on a fabulous piece of paper. So let me read it to you. Let me get this piece of paper out, and it's blank. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I forgot to write anything down on it. So as the piece of paper is blank and there is absolutely nothing on it, you know what that means? That means I have to speak about, you guessed it, absolutely nothing today. This is deja vu all over again. So let's <laughs> blow this popsicle stand. Back to the show. Show what show? You forgot to write down your notes, stupid. Pet, I spit on you. Move on. Order. I say order. Settle down, please. Thank you. The reason I didn't have any of my notes is because I never have any of my notes. It was a joke. J-O-K-E. Why? Why not? I just gotta play a French person. J-O-K-E. Why? Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, I got it. I got you it. You tricked me. Thank you very much. Now I've told you the truth about having something to speak about and not having something to speak about and having enough and having enough and having the not. Now it is time to say thank you for listening to another episode of the craziest show in the world. Have a great week. Hasta la vista, babe. And action. What? I just did the whole thing. It didn't record? Oh, come on. Take two. Here we go. Hasta la vista, babe. That's Listen, 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 our friend Curtis Elton with this funny take on life. And um, we appreciate uh, him um, allowing us to Show how people need to go to see Dr. Gerald Harrington. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, you said Harrington. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You know, we, we, we've, I mean, we've really built an audience here. We really um, have. We have. We're uh, known for a lot of things. We have a lot of different. We have, listen, listen, listen. We have the why dude. Uh, we, have, we have a game show that we play periodically called Questions, Questions, We're Questions. We're Mad TV over here. Yeah. But you know what we're really known for? What's that? Because <laughs> you've always wondered, right? <laughs> I've, always, I've been trying to figure out, what do we do on this show? It's commercial reviews. What? Mind blown. And I'm not necessarily going to review any good commercials today. I'm just going to bitch about these commercials. Who doesn't like to have a good old-fashioned bitching? Because I sure do. Now, this is uh, the first one I want to bitch about is from Coca- fantastic from coca-cola all right and the whole premise of this is like isn't it great that we have been able to get closer together by yeah. being in uh, yep domestic abuse and uh, divorce have really risen over the world but guess what yeah everybody's really enjoying it's, being stuck together it's just so great how wonderful how close we've gotten because of this Pandemic. Yep, the riots it's really, don't speak for it's themselves. It's really made us focus mm-hmm. on what's important in our life. Yeah. God bless us. And one of those things that's important is Coke. <laughs> There's the a world. The day the world stopped was the day we found where to go. See? They found where to the go. The day okay, the world stopped. Was the day we found where to go? It's a higher thing. It's more important than now, anything else. Now there are people in their houses. That's what's going on right now. Families cooking. So I guess during the pandemic, this isn't a new slash. You need to write this down. Oh, right, let me write. The, let me get this piece of paper. Yeah. Piece okay. Paper let me get that this, uh, um, this pen. I got a pen. Okay. Let me write this pen down. Okay. Uh oh. You're writing a pin down, huh? Let me get this pin. I'm going to write it down. Okay, you writing? Yep. Um, evidently, um, people still um, eat food. Wait. Hold the phone. I thought we were only eating food pellets. Yeah. yeah. No, people actually still eat That's food. That's what my squirrel overlords told me I needed to be eating. You need to follow them. 
was the day we found where to go. I'll tell you where to go. <laughs> the vending machine. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> so these people showing people cooking. And they look like some of this food looks real good. Lost together. Hey, baby. Wait, wait, wait. What do you say? Lost together. Lost together. Lost together. We're lost together. Yeah. So people still cook. Yeah. And eat food. Oh, it's crazy. Now, I felt like this whole year, uh, I've really, things have really changed. Yeah. And food pellets are one. So mm -hmm. I've been sharing my dog, my dog's food with me and my family, and we've been eating just fine. Yeah. I may need a crown for one of my teeth, but it's not a big deal. No. Not you know, at all. Eventually, it's a uh, good thing. One, one day, they'll give me titanium teeth. So who knows? We discovered ourselves again. We discovered ourselves again. That's right. Looking in the mirror. And we realized that the things that matter deserve time. We cook with Coke. <laughs> Isn't it great that we had this opportunity, <laughs> this pandemic that killed 160,000 Americans? Isn't it great that we've actually had this opportunity to get together and eat? And have a Coke. And have a Coke. Cook with Coke. <laughs> so this food looks real good. Well, you, have you not eaten good food since pan, since the pandemic? Not at all. Um, every time no, I've gone to seriously. anyone's house, someone cooked for you. Oh yeah. Is your wife a good cook? Yeah, she's a good cook. Okay. One of the best meals I've had of late mm -hmm. was probably my wife makes this casserole. It's really good. And this one guy, I went over to his house. They had salmon yes. salad. And it was rice. It was really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that guy's up to these days. That guy kicks ass. <laughs> And all they're eating is I kind of want to go to these guys' house. And this they're food eating, looks amazing. They're eating, oh, all this, Coke. they're eating all this delicious food and they're swinging it down with Coke. Don't worry. They just spilled the Coke. Now this, that's going to ruin the table. Now you don't drink uh, any type I of I don't drink sausage. soda. No. I don't either. Nope. It's been uh, almost three years now. Yeah, I don't for drink me. soda. It's yeah. bad for you. It's bad for you and it it's mm. going to ruin your meal mm. there. Mm. Mm. Tea is so good. Look at that baby. Upbeat music. Upbeat music. From now on, let's have a Coke. On our coke, 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 Coke. Because we've learned to savor the moments. We've learned to savor the moments. Sure, five million people have a disease. Our economy's gone to hell. We're, we're basically in a civil war with each other because of the way they're handling of this. Not to mention the people that died. Not to mention but also we, food shortages. Right, but we've learned. We're so blessed that this quarantine happened. That's to me what this is underlying saying, and it pisses me off. Well, because it's not good, folks. Okay. You know what that would make this commercial, to me, more authentic? What? Showing everybody losing their fucking minds in their house, <laughs> and all they have to drink right. is Coke. Right. And I'm not saying you shouldn't be positive. There's a lot of things to be positive about in life. I get it. I don't but know I don't about need, that. I don't need Coke to be telling me how, oh, you should how we all, this has been so good for our society, because it hasn't been. No. It's been bad. It's been real Real now, bad. Will we take the lessons and improve ourselves in the future? I plan to. Drew, do you plan to? I plan to, but I can't speak for the rest of the population. But the point is, it should have never been this bad. Absolutely. So how would you rate that one? I give that one a soft one. You give it a soft one? Yeah, because it pisses me off. Yeah, it pisses me off too. Maybe I should give it a 10, a very hard 10 because it pissed me off and maybe have an emotional response. I'm gonna it go, did its job. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a soft three. Okay, soft. A three. little higher than you, because just because I'm gonna give it three points to to make up for. I understand I'm being cynical here. Right. Maybe I'm just being a I better bastard. Guess I'll give it a hard one. Okay. Because I really wanted some of that food. Yeah. And I really wanted to go good. to one of their houses, especially the Chinese family, because that food looked amazing. Well, not only does does Coke try to sell you more coke because yeah. you're at home eating. 
I don't know. Maybe I have. Maybe it's been a long time since I've drank in soda. But if you're having a great meal, you don't want Coke. No, I drink an iced tea or a right. water. Oh, right. Even like an alcohol. Like you drink beer sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. What's yeah. your What's your alcohol to go go to? Um, I really enjoy a good Boulevard wheat. Okay. Now, do you enjoy eating that with a meal? Uh, if it is grill food. Okay. Like a grilled like, like a, a grilled burger or okay. some brats gotcha. or uh, uh, Italian okay. sausage. Okay, that to me is I'll give acceptable. you. I'll give it to you. But like, I like myself a vodka soda. Okay. okay. Yeah. But you like I don't that like, with like pasta. No, I no. don't like to drink when I'm eating delicious food. Right. Takes away the the taste buds. Yeah, I yeah. think so. I think. It okay, does. I, I'll give you this. I also like wine with my pasta. I would don't mind drinking wine. Okay. If it's a red sauce. Yes. But I would contend you're not really drinking. True. You're just I, – okay. I, I'm getting really bitter here. I'm sorry. It's okay. So, okay, there's another company that thinks that everything's going well, too, and uh, it's called Old Navy. Hey, a bomb pop. Now, the, the la- Coke was saying what a good thing the uh, pandemic was, right? Right. Well – Flip side? This is going to tell us how great it is that we've had race riots. Shit. Here we are, a nation divided. Red, blue, 16% undecided. But 2020 had a shook, so we gave the world another look and saw a future of differences celebrated. Every voice heard and advocated, where everyone can show. So, the, so far, it basically was we're divided, so we decided to have our voice, and everyone was heard. Which is not No true. one was heard. No one's been heard. What's the name of the of the lady that got killed in Tennessee that or or is it Kentucky? I think it was Kentucky. That they haven't done anything to? Mm-mm. There has been no justice. And the in the meanwhile there's been more uh, un, un unidentified military people in the streets of big cities like in Oregon? Yeah. Yeah, like Portland and they're they're taking people into cars. Right. And causing the riots. So, let's yeah, see if it's not let, great. Let's see if this has happened. Here we are, a nation divided. Uh-huh. Red, blue, 16% undecided. Okay. Nice little poem there. There we go. We know we're divided. Yeah. Okay. Red, they're wrong. Blue is correct. And what the fuck is wrong with <laughs> undecided people? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, come on, man. I don't know. Do I look like an undecided person? I don't think you're undecided. I'm very independent. I'll say that. I'm not part of some, like, political group. But I'm not going to side with Red, personally, because I think their little leaders are fucking wrong this, idiots. they're wrong this they're time. They're really wrong this time. Right. And there's been proof of it. Okay. But you're not undecided. I'm not undecided, no. Thank you. But 2020 had a shook. So- 2020 had a shook. Okay. Sorry, I keep breaking this down, but I want to highlight and bitch about it. The, the animation's great. Look. We gave the world another look. And saw a future of differences celebrated. Every voice heard and advocated, where everyone can show their pride. Okay. Are we in that world yet? No, we're not. No, we're not. We're still fighting. Love right. should never have to hide. There's a world of possibility that can't exist with you versus me. Right. It will take work. That's indisputable. But oh man. Yeah, it will take work. Here's another thing. It's going to take work forever. We, we are now also realizing that schools aren't exactly teaching <laughs> correct history exactly. either. Right. Like, you're now realizing mm-hmm. that. It's now being brought up. When I was in school, that never got brought up once. So we are still having this fight. The the. This. And I think that's horrible because if you, I find out my daughter is going to school and they're not teaching them about actual slavery, slavery yeah. and all that other shit, and they're not teaching any of that, then my daughter doesn't need to be going to that yeah, school. Yeah, do you know about do you know about the – so you must be referring to the 1619 Project? Yeah. Have you heard about that? What the fuck? Did you ever know – and you're a history guy – the year the first slaves came here? No, I did not. I did not. No. I did not know that I also either. didn't know anything about the Tulsa Massacre until <laughs> I watched Watchmen, for God's sake. Which sakes. is a comic book movie. Yeah, which is a comic book movie, which how am I not – how did I not know about that? Never knew about the first coup to happen on American soil, mm-hmm. which happened in Wisconsin, right. where 60 blacks were, were murdered. Uh-huh. Never learned that either. Right. Why isn't that being taught? <laughs> because it, because – too easy. It's horrible, dude. Too, because you want to see all sunshine stuff so you can sell stuff. I can tell you right now, Old Navy. this makes me not want to go to Old Navy again. Right. 
And it could be Because this is this is a small unappreciative gesture in my opinion. Yeah. This is a, 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 a just as a publicity stunt. Yes. This doesn't yes. mean shit. Right. Right. But look, we're on your side. Yay. Yeah. This world where we are we. Buy our clothes. Buy our that's, clothes. That's, that's, that's oh, essentially thing, what I'm being told. But the other thing is that this commercial is, and you see it in the corner there, hashtag we are we. So they also want you to go ahead and do a hashtag. So on social media, yeah. people talk about old names. You know what would really help out, in my opinion? Not using social media to further agendas. Mm -hmm. Get out there and talk to people. Mm -hmm. Get out there and actually show some commitment. That's what I'd True. like to see. And I wish I could be part of that movement. If that is going to happen, somebody call me. You know what has made me happier tonight? What's that? You're just as pissed off as me. <laughs> and I appreciate I that. I am mo the most pessimistic human being you'll probably ever meet in your life. The most cynical. The only thing we got going for us, folks. Man, I'm really, I'm really bitter tonight. I am. Is, I am a German car the bitter right now. I had now. a very wise person tell me the truth last night. What's that? And that is Joe Biden is going to save this country despite ourselves. And, well, uh, and the Democratic I Party, am all for ourselves. Kamala Harris. Uh -huh. I think it's a great idea. And I hope that she gets it and breaks that uh, barrier uh -huh. and becomes one of the first uh, black women. She'd be the first female first, first, vice first, president. Is it the first also African-American to be vice president? If she wins, yeah. Fantastic. That's great. Well, actually... Yeah, she'd be. Yeah, I, she's breaking two barriers there, and that's mm -hmm. that's what we need right now. But is it a barrier that we haven't had a black vice president? We've already had a black yeah. president. Yeah, I think that's Good a deal. big deal, and I think that we need to change that. Okay. I think that we need to be have some more people out there from color coming in. New blood needs to come mm -hmm. and take over some shit because Dude. we got too much of the same crap going on. I agree with you. Yeah, but what do you think of this? Drop the mic. You painted up your lips and rolled and curled your tinted hair. <laughs> That's a song from the great Phil Henry, and, and I, I don't even deserve to play it on anything like a podcast. So sorry about that. We should that. try and get him on the show. Oh, my God. I would. I would. <laughs> I would. That would be the whole show because you'd want to talk to him the whole time like I, that. I, I'd I hope you do break into characters. I, I, I would. I would. What if you broke into characters all of a sudden? He but, would. He would. You I got to look me like I'm dressed up like Riff Raff. <laughs> I would be so starstruck I wouldn't know what to do. Don't you think he's talented? No, I don't. <laughs> so, okay. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for letting me vent, folks. I guess my point is. Stop trying to sell me shit and make me think Hey, also, good. do I have money to be buying your Old Navy shit? No, I don't, because right now we're, we're all fucked. The economy sucks right now. Yeah. What makes you think I'm going to buy your fucking clothes, wow. Old Navy? I didn't mean to get you this mad. God, but... now I'm all raging. I give it a soft zero. Wow. That's what I gave that one. Wow. Because, in my opinion, real heroes don't look for recognition. Someone runs the camera, someone checks the light. Someone's there behind each show every day and night. That's right. People who are caring till their job is done. That's why Kansas City watches. I'll be review. We're some city. What's the give me every time? Substation, someone you can turn to. Kansas City. It's Paul and Drew. You're fucking lame. <laughs> it's just so random in the song. <laughs> that should cheer you up. All right, we'll, we'll, take, we'll take one more break, and we'll be back with more KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew. Having a grand old time. We'll be right back.
looking at the past seven days so you don't have to. You could join in on the experiment by calling or texting us at 913-735-0060. Do you know if your children are up to date with their immunizations? Hey fellow Detroit parents, I'm Herman Moore, a former professional football player. I'm lucky to have two amazing sons, but I also know that being a parent requires a lot of work. And one of the most important things is helping to keep your children healthy. To help make sure they stay on top of their game, it was important to stay on top of their vaccinations. The CDC recommends a vaccination schedule that helps protect against 14 serious diseases before age two. There's a lot to consider when it comes to your child's health, but I know getting our children vaccinated with all doses at the scheduled times is one of the most important steps we can take to help protect them from serious illnesses. Visit vaccinateourchildren.com to find information about CDC recommended vaccinations. This message was brought to you by the Henry Ford Health System in partnership with Pfizer. Hi, Tom Gully from the Tom Gully Show here. Listen to the show every weekday at 5 p.m. right here on KCTK Radio, personality-driven radio. Do you see that doggy in the shelter? Hi, I'm Buddy, the adorable puppy you adopted from the Humane Society. Meow. I'm Whiskers, a fluffy kitty, just waiting for someone to love me. When you adopt a pet, we hope your new furry friend will become a cherished member of your family. And as Buddy and Whiskers will tell you, the key to success is following the rules to love by. Woof, that's right. Please give me food, water, and exercise every day. To stay healthy, I need the same kind of things you need. Talk to me. I like hearing your voice. You're my best friend. Please don't stay mad at me or lock me up as punishment. Remember, I'm probably going to live 10 to 15 years. So take care of me when I get old. One day you'll need someone to take care of you too. A message from the Montgomery County Humane Society. Visit www.mchumane.org for the complete rules to love by. Be your best friend for life. Welcome back to KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew. And uh, are you okay? Yeah. I made you cry too much. Uh, that commercial hits hard. I got dogs, and I love animals. And it has the and, cute little kid with the voice of the dogs yeah, well, saying, please don't be mad at me and lock me away. Oh, God. <laughs> Which makes me mad because I get mad at myself because sometimes I yell at them. Uh-huh. And maybe I should stop fucking yelling at them so much like I do because one in particular gets very scared of me. Athena? And I feel like a d- yeah, Athena. And I feel like an asshole. <laughs> no, Wally doesn't give a shit. Um, he, he pops up. He's tough. But My Athena, dogs don't listen to a word I say. Well, I got Athena from a pound, and she was abused, so mm-hmm. I feel like I'm contributing to that, and I shouldn't yell at her as much as I do. I, my dogs, all they want to do is be next to me. That's all they care about. They're just... They're all just my, dogs are wonderful. They're Wally, just so Wally, great. All he wants is to sit on somebody's lap. Yeah. That's all he wants. And they just want to be near you. I know. We don't deserve them. You know, my grandfather used to tell me, the way you treat your dog... It's the way God's going to treat you because dog spelled backwards is it's God. God. Weird. And I he was... used to kick your his dog in the nuts. He did. Oh yeah. Huh. I never <laughs> knew. I never knew he did that. I thought he fed him real good. He did. I'm talking about my grandfather, not oh, your you grandfather. Got, no, I thought you were talking about my grandfather. But my the father, he really he really treated his dogs well too. Yeah, he loved that dog. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm I'm kind of like him where. I treat it too well, and I don't know how to train it very well. But I got little dogs, and it's easier. You got bigger dogs, it's harder. At least the is And I train them. Yeah, I, I mean that's good. Them. If you have a dog, you should train it. Yeah, yeah. They do bark a little too much, though. My my dogs bark way too much, and it makes me look racist. Why? Because my neighbors are black, and they bark at them, and I'm uh-huh. like, I didn't teach them to be like that. Hmm. It See, makes my, me look bad. Mine my aren't racist. They're just assholes. They bark at everybody. Yeah. And uh, that's nice, too. Yeah. So, hey, uh, you know, I've really brought the world down. I, the purpose of this show and this podcast is for you to hear me bitch and make you feel bad about yourself. Absolutely. And, uh, I'm already doing and that. And feel sorry for me. And just it's just I, I feel like I'm having venom the whole hour. So thanks for joining me, folks. I appreciate <laughs> it. Go uh, on. <laughs> but uh, let's, hear some, let's hear some good stuff. Let's hear what we all love to hear. And that is... The news, <laughs> the truth. This is going to be good. I this even, is going to bring us together. 
So your boy Trump is bitching about the kneeling at the NBA and the NFL. Again? Yeah. Recently, he came out and said that he thinks that if they kneel, they should shut down the NFL and the NBA. Okay. For the season. Yeah. My question to you is, Oh, do okay. you care about the kneeling? Yeah. So, and this is when they're uh, singing the national anthem right. or when they're, they're looking at the flag. Right. Yeah, I can tell you my opinion of it. Yeah. I think the flag represents freedom. Yeah. I think we're... Should, we should have this, this ideal that people have freedom of speech and freedom of thought. Yeah. And if a one man in this country has the freedom to kneel to protest what he believes is us not fulfilling our potential as a country, then why do I care? Right. Yeah. I I don't understand why... I, I don't, can't comprehend why letting that guy express himself has anything to do with me getting mad about Correct. it. Correct. Not to mention the fact, here's my stance because on it. Well, they're, like they're it. not, they get to decide what they think, but I also get to decide what I think about this country. And if I feel like I want to stand up, then I will. Yeah. Absolutely. Whether you they're should. kneeling or not, I'm going to. You want to know why? Because this is fucking America and that's what you do. Ex yeah. That's what you do here. What stand or stand up for what you believe in? Right. Yeah. But I don't have to. I don't care what he thinks. Right. I mean, I care what he thinks. Right. But my point is, I'm not going to get on him and get all offended because they're kneeling. I don't. It doesn't make any difference to me. Right. I honestly think kneeling is more respectful and honorable than sitting down. Mm -hmm. Maybe sitting down, I can see that being a little bit disrespectful. I could. I. I get that. Mm -hmm. But kneeling. Seems very, you know, very knightly, very, you know, honorable, like yes. a fallen hero kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You know, you you kneel, mm -hmm. and you know, it's very I, symbolic, very symbolic. Well, here, here's very everything. chivalrous. People, the same mm -hmm. people who are mad about kneeling are the same people who are mad about uh, riots that are destroying property. Correct. They'll say things like, "Why do they have to destroy property and riot?" Well, because you get pissed off when they do something peaceful. Right. Why don't you let these just people have their their voice? They can kneel, and you can sit there, and you're at the at the Chiefs game or at the Royals game or whatever. Sit there and eat your your uh, uh, Cracker Jacks and shut the hell up and let have them kneel. Have a smile kneel. and a Coke and shut the fuck right, up. Right, exactly. Uh, I think it'd be very symbolic mm -hmm. if everybody at Arrowhead kneeled. Yeah. And guess what? That would show some solidarity within our country yeah. and the state alone. And guess what? If people don't want to, they don't have to. Correct. Because here's why. You I shouldn't be chastised if you don't want I'll to be either. With you. I don't understand why we even do it at the beginning of the of the games. Yeah. We do. When, okay. You you work every day, right? Right. Do you go in and do the national anthem and, and honor the flag every Absolutely. day? Absolutely. Every do? time. Oh, yeah. You guys really do that? No, we work? don't really do that. Right. No, no one does that at the no. work. No, exactly. I mean, I had a job where we did it at the work, but that I, was politics. I've also noticed this. This past season, I remember we were all watching the game together. You were there, uh -huh. and you were there, and you were there. You, and you, 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 and you. Okay. Um, and you notice how some people would stand in their own household. You notice how people were standing some and doing Some people like to do that, yeah. Not everybody does that. That's right. So why why is it acceptable that I'm at a stadium and I do it, but at home I don't? Um, is it because people can see me in a stadium and I'm in my own it's house? It's all virtue signaling. It's either you want to show, look how much I love the, the flag. I'm not brave enough to um, volunteer to help anybody in the country through military and any other service work. But look, I took my hat off at a football game. Right, but when I didn't I, take my I, hat off at home. Yeah, when I was at the in the suite level, look at me, I did that. <laughs> it, it's all it's all BS. So it's also people want to find something to bitch about too. So that's why yes. you try to avoid it. Right. Okay. And when I used to go to the games, there would always be a guy who would yell at other people to take their hat off. I remember. I've I've seen that in action, and um. I would look at that dude and be like, hey, mind your own fucking business. Exactly. Mind your business. Mind your own fucking business. Like, I, I, I one time I had a job. Mm -hmm. And I quit the job okay, uh, two weeks into it. It was okay. crap. Mm -hmm. But I remember I was leaning against the wall, and somebody looked at me and said, and used their hand to gesture me off the wall. And I remember looking at him like, fuck you. For what? 
Because we were in a meeting. And I'm leaning against a wall. Who gives a fuck if I'm leaning against a wall? Was I'm it your still boss? Listen- no, it wasn't a boss. It was some other fellow, fellow co-worker. Ooh. It's like, hey. And I remember that that correlated with you when you were in politics and somebody told you you can't go use the restroom. You're like, I'm oh, going to piss. I'm going right. to go did. take a piss. I did. Guess what? I'm not going to raise my hand and ask permission to go take a someone piss if said, I want to. After that meeting, I was in a meeting. You can read it all in the book, folks. But I was in a <laughs> meeting. Well, I was in a meeting with the governor of Missouri. All right. And we were going through some things. And I had to use the bathroom. So I stood up and went to the bathroom. All right. And I came back. And the meeting, I wasn't the only one in the meeting. So it wasn't <laughs> like. Yeah, right. You know, right, it's, it's different than maybe it's you, some other person, and the governor. Exactly. That's fair. Right. Yeah. But it was a group of people. Probably right. about, Nobody's going to notice you went to go take a fucking piss. Six people. Right. And you didn't wash your hands. Who gives a shit? You don't piss on your hands. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, and then later someone goes, you know, that was that was kind of really disrespectful. You left. I go, I had to use the bathroom. I'm an adult. <laughs> That's one of the only advantages you get as an adult. You I remember to you use, told me that. You get to go use the bathroom. And once you go into college... Home. I remember, you, I remember this words of wisdom from you when I was starting to go to college. Okay. Because I used to ask permission while in class. It, when you're in college? Yeah, when I was in college. And I remember you told me once, you're like, high school is the, the only time you ever have to ask permission to go take a piss. Once you're out of high school, right. you go take a piss if you want to go take a piss. And not to belabor my story too much, but, it, you know, that's a high-ranking official I was with. And he didn't care. Right. He didn't care. He's busy he, talking he was, to other people. It was someone else who's trying to act like they were a big deal and trying to virtue signal their self in a meeting. Yeah. Made themselves look good. Yes. People got to go to the bathroom sometimes. Yeah. And you know what? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And that's the news of the Druze. There you go. <laughs> hey, if we haven't upset you enough, I do, <laughs> I do want to um, get uh, – Drew, I want you to get uh, – very familiar with this. Oh shit! Uh, new thing we've is this we've talked about. Gonna scare me? We've talked about squirrels. We've talked about robots. But have we talked about fish lately? No, we haven't talked about the mutated fish. Well, <laughs> here we go. Evolution turned this fish into a penis with a heart. <laughs> now that's strange because that was actually my nickname in high school. <laughs> There's the guy. He's a penis with a heart. Very nice. And there he is, right there. With um, his penis, heart. And when it comes to dating in the depths of the ocean, appearance doesn't much matter. That's fortunate for anglerfish, which resembles a nightmarish fanged potato with a little, get out of here, with a little reading lamp on top. And those are just the females. If you've ever seen a male anglerfish before, you're not missing much. Measuring just a few centimeters long, on average, that's that's about right. That's what they used to say about me in, uh, in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Male anglers are a mere fraction of the partner size and contribute a fraction of the work with their relationships. This sounds way too familiar. Yeah, I'm, fe- I'm feeling it. In, in my relationship, she uh, does a lot more of the work. I only do a fraction of it. And also, I'm about a few centimeters long. <laughs> uh, <laughs> For the angler fish species, the male's sole responsibility is to permanently latch into an a uh, obligating mate, a- uh, obli- obliging. obliging mate. Yeah. Fuse his circular system with hers, then slowly roll his eyes, f- fins, and most of his internal organs to degenerate until he becomes what someone says a penis with a heart. The male gets constant nourishment. The female gets sperm on the man. The angler first circle, life spins on. So basically she pulls a prey manis mm-hmm. <laughs> and sucks out his life. So he dies from a blowjob. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. here's the thing. She's going around. She's bigger. He goes just, I guess, in her, right? Yeah. All the way in her because it's him. Yeah. And uh, just, just. So these fish the procreate time. by fisting each other. Well, it's not even a fist. It's his whole body. His whole body, that's a penis. Oh, my. Oh, no. Is, do we have a video? Oh, no. I don't know if we can see it or not, but uh, we'll see here. So that is frightening. It is scary. Yeah. And a little sad. Yeah. So he finally loses his virginity only to die. Right. That's there it. he is. Oh, my God. When it comes to dating, and he, oh, well, that's we've already read that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Here we go. I want to see if they can show a little bit, and I'm glad I'm not sharing this with anybody, <laughs> because that's the, that's the female with all those lights 
everywhere. camera action. She and, puts on her own porno show. I mean, oh my goodness, it's it's quite a deal. Here we but go. I want to see the mail. Where's the mail at? We. Oh my God, that looks about right. That looks about right. That's after she's had her <laughs> way with him. <laughs> that poor son of a bitch. <laughs> Let me ask you this: Would you want your sole responsibility to permanently latch on to your mate? And just impregnate her all um, nonstop. Do I have to pay child support? Yeah. Oh, well then I guess. Oh, no. look, look, there it is. There's a gigantic female, and there's the there's the ma- male right there. Oh, well, they really are small. Yeah, and it's so much smaller, and huh. he's 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 doing her right there. <laughs> I mean, the little guy is doing her. That's sad. So. We've talked about, uh, didn't we talk about another fish at one point? Yeah, we talked about a fish made in a lab. A fish made in a lab, which frightened us to death. Yeah. A robot that looks like uh, some type of giant being, which you're excited about. Yeah, which is cool. It's a Gundam. Yeah. And then robots that uh, look like squirrels. And uh, those squirrels that are taking over the world. Yeah. And robots that are small. Yeah, and they look like dogs. <sighs> I don't know, man. The world's kind of gone nuts. This whole podcast tonight has been nothing but a scare tactic by us. So what do you <laughs> think is going to finally put us in? First, first, the first question is, what's going to take you out? Okay, probably the squirrels. They were, I'm already on their okay. radar. So, okay. And I've already contributed. I've paid my taxes with them and my tree. You know. Second question, what's, what do you think is going to take me out? Oh, I already know it's going to take you what's out. What's that? It's going to be a robot. Okay. One of the gigantic robots or just one of those little no, robots? No, I don't think a Gundam is going to even bother with you. One of those looks like a dog. It'll go after the Pentagon first before it comes after you. One of those dog ones, though? The dog ones will. And then finally, what's going to take over the human race? The squirrels. Really? Oh, yeah. Do you think they'll incorporate the penis fish? <laughs> they may. They may. They may also try and do it to themselves mm. to procreate and make sure the bubonic plague is evident in their bloodstream. Okay. Do you think there will be, and we've talked about this before, but I just want to put you on record. Okay. Do you think there will be a master uh, squirrel robot fight in the future? I hope that I'm here as a slave to get to see it, and I'm hoping that I'm fanning the uh, squirrel emperor. Mm -hmm. I'm like his, you know, like off the cone heads, I'm David Spade. Okay. He's had a lot today. Let me just go ahead and take that from you. So you're, you're you're on Team Squirrel. I'm on Team Squirrel. Okay. Yeah. Also, you know, they're blood they're flesh and blood. So mm-hmm. I feel like I can get along with them a lot better than I could, let's say, a robot with no soul. I, what if the <laughs> robot has a soul? I think we, yeah, because they'll they'll evolve into having yeah. one. I've, I've seen Blade Runner, okay? Mm-hmm. Shit gets real. I, I just for, <laughs> for um you know, dramatic sense for a show, I would like to be team robot, but I think I am team squirrel. I think You don't want them to use you as a battery. I've seen Matrix. Yeah. I'm basing all of this on cinematic film, okay? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> if The Simpsons knows everything, then we know that the, these... the Wachowski brothers, um, uh, you know, fuck, who did Blade Runner? Is it Ridley Scott? Yeah. Was it Ridley Scott? One of the Scott brothers. Shit. I, how is that even possible that I don't know who directed Blade Runner? Now I feel stupid. Do you want to look it up? I'm looking quick? it up right now because it, I have to set this up for the record. Otherwise, I'll look like an asshole. Yeah, okay. Okay, so here it is. Yep, it's Ridley Scott. Thank God. Woo! Good job. Man is still on top. <laughs> well, congratulations. <laughs> oh, shut up, Siri. That's all, the, uh, <laughs> that's all the misery I can give you folks. Thanks for letting us have a little show where we talk about things. and Sometimes we're happier, sometimes we're not. I'm not... Not that I'm not happy... We've got a lot of steps to go through, folks. We need to pull together. That's all I'm saying, okay? Everybody out there, just give it your all. Yeah, and pull together. Be Hey, everyone, be kind. Rewind. Oh, wait, that's 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 someone else's thing. Anyway, thanks for listening to us. KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew and Jack, who never shows up. <laughs> we'll be back next week. Bye.
has been a KCTK production produced by Paul Lavoda. If you want more information about this content, then you have some real weirdness going on. You can always check out KCTK Radio on Facebook. Listen to live programs at kctkradio.com. Yes, and that is on the World Wide Web. Thank you.